It's come to my attention that my friends are not really up to date with how earthquakes are measured. And with the latest events in Turkey and Syria, it's quite important that, you know, people understand how we measure the magnitude or strength of an earthquake using logarithms. We've even felt some earthquakes um, here in the UAE. So this video is for those people who want to learn to understand logarithms in real life. The scale goes from 0 till 10, with each increase in magnitude representing a tenfold increase in the size of the earthquake. So for example, an earthquake with a magnitude of 5 is 10 times stronger than an earthquake with a magnitude of 4. Let's rewind a little though, because Richter scales are based on logarithms, and let's go take a look at the basics of logarithms. The log of 100 with base 10 is equal to x. So what is the value of x? To find the answer, it's a good idea to write this in the exponential form. It can be written as 10 raised to x is equal to 100. Remember, the answer to the log is the power to which the base needs to be raised. Here, as the base is 10, we are asking 10 to what power will give us 100. We know that 10 to the power of 2 gives us 100. So, the value of x is 2. What does log of 1000 with base 10 give us? This can be written as 10 raised to x is equal to 1000. And 10 cubed is 1000, so the value of x will be 3. Look at these numbers. They range from being tiny to huge. We do come across such numbers in real life. 1, 10, 1000 are commonly used. This can be a person salary, this can be the approximate distance from Earth to Sun, and this can be the approximate number of cells in the human body. Assume we have been asked to plot the following values on a number line. Would you be able to scale all of these numbers on a number line? 1, 10, and 1000 would be extremely close to zero, and then those big numbers just wouldn't fit on this scale. Mathematicians would now take the logarithm of a number with base 10. For instance, what will be the log of 1 with base 10? 10 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, hence we have a 0 here. And log 10 with base 10 will equal 1, as 10 to the power of 1 will give us 10. The log of 1000 with base 10 is 3, because 10 to the third power is 1000. After completing this list, you can see that we can plot these numbers easily on a number line from 0 till 14. If events vary drastically, we use logarithms. Richter scale, which is used to measure earthquakes, uses logarithms in real life and is the, common, the most common example. To understand this, let's take a look at earthquakes that happened uh, in three different countries. In Afghanistan, there was an earthquake that registered a 6.0, Haiti 7.0 and Japan 9.0. So log with a base 10 of something measures 6.0 in Afghanistan and seven in Haiti and nine in Japan. These numbers tell us how strong the earthquake is. So if log of M with base 10 is six, then what is M? 10 to the sixth power. And in the next two cases, this will be 10 to the seventh and the magnitude here will be 10 to the ninth. The value of M tells us how strong the earthquakes are, while the Richter scale is used to represent these huge numbers using a manageable scale. So an earthquake measuring 7.0 on a Richter scale is 10 times stronger as 6.0. While the difference between 6 and 7 might seem small, it is not really like that. And how strong was the earthquake in Japan compared to the one in Afghanistan? It was 1,000 times stronger and 100 times stronger than the one measured in Haiti. That's how logarithms are used to measure earthquakes. <laughs>